Hello everyone, Corn here and welcome to my channel. I have another project share. I was looking across the hall and saw another frame that I thought, you know what? That needs something different in it. <laughs> and I brought it up um, in the craft room doing this project share. You know I don't normally do this. I normally do it on my dining room table. But because of the lighting there, I don't think you always get to see how much glitter and shine is going on. And with this one, there's just so much going on that I thought I'd do this up, up here. And this time I wanted to do a wreath and I can show you. I apologize. I did not have it in its original container. It kind of looks like a scissors extender, but I'm not sure. But this is the die for the wreath. And I took, um, it was an actual card that uh, Recollections put out. Um, so many glitter silver and so many glitter gold. And they had it a Tuesday morning a couple of years ago. And I purchased the package like for $1.99. And I wanted that particular silver. So I just took it out of that <laughs> card base and uh, <laughs> because I just thought it was lovely and I know that I and here this is all you get to see and I know that I covered up a lot of it but it is under there that beautiful wreath I love doing wreaths and I love decorating them because um, as a lot of you know my mother used to part be a part owner of a florist and so at this time of year well all during the year that wreaths were, were done. And um, so for this one, it's a five by seven. So yes, we do have a white glitter paper in the background. And to let you all see how I operate, God love you, quite a few of you have been with me a while. I'd like to thank you all for that. And I'd also like to thank my newcomers for subscribing. That's very sweet of you. I appreciate it very much. And for me to do something, you know, this is why I don't do um, a start to finish on a project. Because a lot of people take an hour or 47 minutes and they're done. So first, of course, I'm thinking, hmm, which way do I want to go? I know I want to do silvers and whites because I can not only use this for a Christmas display, but also for all winter, you know. So, the first thing I did, oh, here's the other part of that, by the way. Here's the other part of that card base. <laughs> but the first thing I did was just a white, a heavy white card stock, and I didn't, it wasn't working for me, so I was like, nah, that's not what I want. So then, I went to this one. I was like, ooh, that might be fun. Put everything on it, said, no, nope, that's not what I want. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, with this, uh, I knew that I had these, now these silver, this silver leaf came from Tina Kazari, and she gifted those to me several years ago. I'm still using them because it was like a whole roll of tr uh, trim, and I cut them off. This is a die that... I've had that so long, I don't know where that's from, either of the, the rose leaves um, that I did in the same silver. And I did these, these come with that same die. And then these two pieces that, you know how you get uh, the trim and then you cut them off. These two from Amazon. This is a Prima. Flower. I don't use Prima flowers very much, um, but I had gotten that one at. Uh, there were six in a package, and they were on clearance for one twenty-four. I know, <laughs> so I used that one. And then these little darlings, I got it Tuesday morning, and I just put my um, art glitter glue on them and diamond dust. And then these little darlings are from Hobby Lobby, and I took my stickles, and we've got this one is called Stardust, and put on them. I just, you know, I wanted my 
rhinestones and glitter and um, bling, you know. And then these little darlings are from Hobby Lobby also, the teeny tiny ones. Let me show you those. These guys that I usually get those when they put them half price. And I almost always take the center out of these. And this time I put, let me see, where am I? Oh, here they are. This time I put some little rhinestones in the center. Well, they're there. I, I wanted to make them not too teeny tiny because it's tiny ones like this. But my husband got me these. I think you all know that my husband is real sweet about if he's close to a craft shop going in to see if he can... <laughs> to see if he can find me something. Now, when it comes to the bow, I had first made a bow. I already took it out, but I first made a bow out of this ribbon. It is almost a, a grayish white and then this darling tinsel silver, which I thought, ooh, yummy. Didn't like it. <laughs> then I made this bow, which I thought, oh, you know, oh, I like that. I'm happy, but I wasn't 100% happy. You know, so I kept going back and forth, back and forth. And I was like, I'm not happy with this, not happy with this. And I even got out my little string of pearls, you know, that we got at Hobby Lobby. And I was thinking about putting them. There was another one. I can't find it right now, but there was three strands. I was going to put them in the center to have a little dangle. And I was like, no, not feeling that either. <laughs> so I ended up going to, I have a... um a little container that has some bows already made and I found that one and I thought if I use that because it's just grow grain white ribbon I was like if I use that then I've got to, got to have some rhinestones in the middle and that's probably two or three years old if ever I'm out out in a boot and I find some rhinestones or bling that um, I think I can use and I can get them on clearance or in a thrift store at a great price, then that's what I do. So that's how this one turned out. So remember I did the shabby chic Christmas one and then I did the traditional color Christmas one and then this is Christmas and all winter. And so I just wanted to show y'all this one. And um, the frame itself, did I mention that? The frame itself is either from Ross or Burlington Coat Factory because I get a lot of my frames from them. And it's probably either $4.99 or $5.99. I don't pay, I don't get it more than that. So, but I thought, you know, you need something new in there. And as you all know, we can go ahead and put and change it for each season or what have you. So the other project share I have is I have another clutch and I have another wallet. <laughs> and here's this clutch. Um, You're all going to laugh. Since I'm up here uh, in the craft room, I didn't want my projects over my mat. You can still see the mat, though. But this, I got at a thrift store. Isn't this gorgeous? Somebody put so much love and work in it. It was not me, although I do cross-stitch. I do count it cross-stitch. That this is printed on, but somebody done such a beautiful job. This is a pillow, as you see. A pillow case uh, cover. And um, I thought it looked nice with the <laughs> project. Um, this seam binding, I dyed. And you all might have seen that video. And that's what I, what I like about that. When you scrunch it up, you'll see little bits of darker color in there too. Which goes perfectly, I think, with this paper. I can show you, since we're in the craft room, this paper pad. Um, I got this on Amazon. This is the Paper Boutique puts this out. It is called The Walled Garden, and it is from the UK. And I tried to use um, the pages in here. You get six designs. So I tried to use the, all the designs. So we're dealing with, you know, you open like so, and... 
this die I got from Amazon. And you know how I fussy cut stuff out. I fussy cut that out of this paper um, for the center. And then my little punch, this little scallop punch is from Fiskars. And then I went around it and Distress Ink Speckled Egg. And when it came to um, doing any drawing or, or um, going around the edges in this, I did it with my Ohuhu markers because they're alcohol markers. And I did that because I put the Distress uh, Collage Medium over everything inside and out so that no matter what the recipient wants to put in it, it will be covered. You know what I mean? They, it, and it'll, you know, it'll clean easier too with, you know, your natural hand oils and stuff like that. And these are the colors I used. Okay. And, um, so you can see there, there I went around here. I went around to pick up these darling blooms here. And then on the back, what's holding... Um, the seam binding is this piece of ephemera and normally with pieces like this I go in with my stickles and have a lot of fun highlighting the petals but since this will probably sort of be stored like so if it's stored like that I think it wouldn't be as um, I don't want to say it I don't think it would be as as uh, nice back here. Does that make any sense? Because this is added on after I do the collage medium. So not the leaves. The leaves have the collage medium on them, but this piece because of having my closure, it holding down my closure, this is put on last. So instead of doing my stickles this time, I left it as is. It's nice and smooth. It has a great feel to it. And I don't remember where I got it, y'all. I think this is Hobby Lobby. I think. Maybe. You know how they put out those large sticker ephemera pieces? This might be one of theirs. These die cuts were gifted to me in white, silver, and gold. And I took the white ones and then I went over them time and time again just <laughs> with my Distress Oxide in Spun Sugar. And then I took the Ahuhu number three and did you know, just a little bit of shading on the blossoms. So that's how this one turned out. And then our little wallet, <laughs> our little wallet turned out like this. And um, here's hoping I can slot you, I thought. The thing is, the reason I don't, um, I've learned, not in the beginning, but I've learned don't always put this down permanently because they might want to tuck this inside of the the little clutch. So this is how this one turned out. Oh yeah, and I did do, um, I would draw the little leaves in um, the uh, Ohuhu. It's either 68 or, yeah, it's 68. I was going to say or 89, but it looks more like 68. It's the right one. <laughs> Same thing with these die cuts, um, same colors used. Fussy cut this out. This is the die I showed you in the beginning with um, the glittered white project. And instead, and I used this background um, to do my, to place my dies and then went over it with the speckled egg. And then the back looks like so. And again, just dealing with the speckled egg on that white, just pouncing my little dauber, you know, to get that color I wanted. And then accents on the blooms and tiny accents on the leaves with this one. Okay, so you've got that. This isn't tied because it'll take too long for me to do that. I'm sure you've got things to do on these and then remember I always make um, an envelope with some goodies inside and so do you all remember it was either a year or two ago when Hobby Lobby put a lot of their 
uh, wedding section on clearance, 75% off. That's when I got this ribbon rose. These tiny little crocheted um, flowers with the teeny tiny pink center. It looks like a French knot in the center are from uh, Amazon, believe it or not. Pink leaves are from Hobby Lobby trim for 75% off. This was gifted to me by Haley Southern Bell, the doily, the pink doily. And then you flip it over. Oh, and <laughs> you could, yep, it goes that way and that way. Same thing, like I said, since it's a circle. <laughs> and then I just did this for the closure. And this is a trim that I cut the little flowers off. And then you open it and there are some stickers and then in case she's a paper crafter who's going to get this in case she would like to use some of this paper I had to cut it down in order to fit the envelope but it is um, she gets a square piece of each one of these six papers that I used in case she also she wanted to make something to match too or if she she does beautiful cards. She might want to do cards with this. So, and then that goes here. And then the Christmas card, you might have, I might have shown this one. I'm not sure, but the Christmas card that she receives with this is for you. Hopefully that's showing up, the, the stickles on the roses. Merry Christmas here, and I will put my message there. And this paper is uh, Stamperia. Okay. So, I would like to thank you all for joining me today, and I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody. Take good care.